Picture this, it's the year 1975, a time when TV shows were more than just entertainment. They were moments etched into our memories, woven into the fabric of our lives. And then, like a fresh breeze sweeping through a room, the Jeffersons burst onto the screen, painting a vivid portrait of a unique American family reaching for their dreams. Can you recall that initial encounter? The first time the iconic theme song danced through your ears, or when George Jefferson's spirited antics brought genuine laughter to your lips. It's these moments that make us pause and reflect, cherishing the memories that shaped us. Now, let's journey back together, beyond the surface of this beloved sitcom. Peel back the layers, and y'all uncover intriguing and surprising tidbits about the show that captured hearts across generations. From the undeniable chemistry of the cast to the trailblazing portrayal of African-American success, The Jeffersons was more than a show. It was a cultural touchstone. So, fasten your seatbelt as we dive into the fascinating world of random facts about this iconic series, where every piece of information is a stepping stone to rediscover a TV year long past. And now, as the curtain rises on these behind-the-scenes revelations, remember those shared chuckles, the characters who felt like friends, and the lasting impact the Jeffersons had on television history. So, without further ado, let's unveil the hidden gems that make this show a true classic. The Jeffersons, a 1975 TV series, emerged as a spin-off of All in the Family, showcasing the upward mobility of an African-American family. Created by Norman Lear, the show centered around George and Wheezy Jefferson who moved to a luxury apartment on the east side of Manhattan. The iconic characters included George, a witty and ambitious entrepreneur, and Louise Wheezy Jefferson, his kind-hearted wife. The show's unique style blended humor with relevant social issues like race, class, and relationships. With its catchy theme song and memorable catchphrases like Wheezy, I'm home, the show garnered a massive following. It paved the way for diverse representation on television, portraying an affluent African-American family. The Jeffersons' success was evident in its 11-season run, making it one of the longest-running sitcoms with a predominantly black cast. The series' impact on popular culture is undeniable, influencing future TV shows by showcasing that different perspectives can resonate with audiences. Transitioning into random facts about the show, interestingly, Sherman Hemsley, who portrayed George Jefferson, initially turned down the role due to its limited appearance on All in the Family. However, he eventually reconsidered and made the character iconic. Additionally, The Jeffersons was known for addressing taboo topics of the time such as interracial relationships and alcoholism, with sensitivity and humor. The character Florence, the Jefferson's sassy maid, became a fan favorite for her humorous interactions with George. The show was known for its crossovers with other series like Maud and Good Times, creating a shared TV universe. The Jeffersons also earned critical acclaim, winning several Emmy Awards and nominations for its outstanding writing and performances. The final episode in 1985 marked the end of an era, but its legacy lives on through its impact on television's diversity and representation. The Jeffersons, unveiling untold stories of a beloved 1975 TV series in the bustling landscape of 1970s television. The Jeffersons emerged as a groundbreaking series that defied conventions and offered a window into the evolving societal norms of the era. While the show left an indelible mark on American entertainment, it's the lesser-known anecdotes that unveil the intriguing backstories of the show's cast and its production. Amid the iconic opening sequence of The Jeffersons, where George and Wheezy move on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky, sharp-eyed fans might recognize the building's real-life location, 185E, 85th Street in Manhattan. This subtle homage to the city became a visual cornerstone, anchoring the character's journey to newfound success. Delving deeper, we unearth the remarkable parallel between Roxy Roker, the actress who portrayed Helen Willis, and her character's interracial marriage. In a pivotal casting interview, producers raised the question of whether Roker would be comfortable with her character having a white husband. Responding in a way that mirrored her character's confidence, Roker simply showcased a photograph of her real-life spouse. Notably, that spouse was Sick Kravitz, and their legacy lives on through their son, the famed musician and actor Lenny Kravitz. The series' untimely cancellation brought forth unexpected revelations about the show's stars. 
Sherman Hemsley, the unforgettable George Jefferson, stumbled upon the news in an ordinary newspaper, a stark reminder of the industry's capricious nature. In contrast, Isabel Sanford, who portrayed his beloved wife, Louise, received the jarring news from a relative who had read it in a trade publication. These contrasting paths to learning of the show's fate underscore the unpredictable currents of showbiz. As we reflect on the legacy of the Jeffersons, it's these hidden narratives that humanize the characters and the actors who brought them to life. The show's impact transcends the screen, reshaping perceptions and paving the way for a more inclusive media landscape. The echoes of 185E, 85th Street, and the candid responses of Roxy Roker remain as testaments to a series that dared to push boundaries and celebrate the diversity of American life. Intriguing, heartwarming, and complex, The Jeffersons continues to captivate audiences, reminding us that behind every fictional facade lies a tapestry of real stories waiting to be unveiled. In the annals of television history, one series stands tall, both for its groundbreaking portrayal of an African-American family's upward mobility and its remarkable cast. The Jeffersons, which premiered in 1975, not only shattered stereotypes, but also left an indelible mark on pop culture. Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Sanford, as George and Louise Jefferson, etched their names in TV lore, gracing the screen for all 253 episodes. Their chemistry and performances were the bedrock of the show's success, making them the sole constants in an ever-evolving cast. The Jefferson's journey from All in the Family spin-off to iconic series is well known, but hidden amidst the glitz of the 1970s television era lies a lesser-known tale about the character Louise. Louise Jefferson, portrayed by Isabel Sanford, had an enigmatic sibling whose presence was acknowledged in All in the Family but curiously omitted from the Jeffersons. This unnamed brother, a mysterious figure in the Jefferson family tree, remained conspicuously absent, leaving viewers to speculate about the unseen kin. The show's creator's decision to excise this character added an extra layer of intrigue to Louise's backstory, one that remained tantalizingly unresolved. The Jeffersons garnered acclaim not only for its humor but also for its poignant social commentary. It spotlighted issues like race, class, and wealth with a deft touch, often using humor as a lens to examine these topics. Beyond the sitcom's original run, the Jeffersons found themselves making unexpected reappearances. In episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, they bridged generational gaps, making their mark on a new era of television. Even in 2001, they graced screens once more, this time in a series of Denner's Restaurant commercials, proving that their wit and charm remain timeless. As we reflect on The Jeffersons, we celebrate its legacy, a series that dared to dream beyond stereotypes, that dared to place diversity at the forefront, and that dared to explore the complex nuances of societal progress. Through the lens of George and Louise, Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Sanford etched themselves into our hearts, leaving an indomitable imprint on television history. In the grand mosaic of television history, The Jeffersons remains a vivid tile, rich in color and significance. It was a testament to the power of storytelling, the allure of relatable characters, and the unyielding impact of representation. So, as we look back on this trailblazing series, we are reminded of its profound resonance in an ever-changing world. When the Jeffersons ruled prime time, a look back at a TV landmark in the annals of television history, few shows have left as lasting an impact as the 1975 classic, The Jeffersons. Set against the backdrop of societal change and cultural shifts, the series provided both entertainment and a platform for discussing real-world issues. While the requested crossovers and medical conditions are intriguing, let's delve into an interesting facet of The Jeffersons that warrants attention. From the creative genius of Norman Lear, the Jeffersons emerged as a spin-off of the equally iconic show, All in the Family. However, few may know that Mike Evans, who portrayed the endearing Lionel Jefferson, played an instrumental role in shaping another significant spin-off. Good Times, a show that would go on to tackle racial and social struggles in a Chicago housing project, found its origins in the collaborative efforts between Mike Evans and Lear. The character of Michael Evans on Good Times was, in fact, a reflection of a younger version of the actor himself, growing up amidst the challenges of the projects. This familial connection added a layer of authenticity to the show's depiction of the struggles faced by the Evans family. 
Through this collaboration, Evans brought his personal experiences to the forefront, allowing good times to resonate deeply with audiences and become a voice for the marginalized. As we celebrate the enduring legacy of the Jeffersons, it's essential to recognize its role in not only shaping entertainment, but also in fostering meaningful dialogues through television. Mike Evans' influence on good times exemplifies how art can transcend the screen and mirror the complexities of real life. In the realm of television, where stories can transform lives and perspectives, The Jefferson stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the indelible mark it leaves on society. As we bid adieu to the vibrant world of The Jeffersons, let the echoes of laughter and the resonance of poignant moments linger in the corridors of your memory. Like the threads of a finely woven tapestry, the show's characters have woven themselves into our lives, imprinting their indelible presence upon our hearts. The Jeffersons wasn't just a TV series, it was a reflection of society, a mirror that held up both the comical and the contemplative facets of our existence. As we take a step back in time, we find ourselves immersed in the era that witnessed the transformation of American television. The Jeffersons stood tall as a trailblazer, dismantling stereotypes and championing conversations that were ahead of their time. Through the laughter and the tears, we grew alongside George and Wheezy, sharing in their struggles and successes, learning lessons that are still relevant today. But now, as the curtain falls on this remarkable journey, we invite you to share your treasured memories and cherished thoughts about the Jeffersons. What scene made you chuckle uncontrollably? Which character's journey touched your soul? How did the show influence your perspectives? Your memories are the living legacy of this iconic series, and by sharing them, you ensure that its impact endures. So, let your thoughts flow freely. Let your keyboard or pen become a bridge between the past and the present, between fiction and reality. Your reflections are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, and they connect you to countless others who have laughed pondered, and resonated with the Jeffersons. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this nostalgic journey with us. Your interest and passion breathe life into the memories we hold dear. As we close this chapter, remember that your thoughts are an essential part of the legacy we celebrate today. Until we meet again to explore new narratives, keep those memories alive and those conversations thriving.